Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. Most people were horrified, of course, by last week's assassination attempt on Republican members of Congress, which wounded five people and nearly killed House Majority Whip Steve Scalise. But most people apparently does not include some people, including New Jersey Democratic strategist Jim Devine. After the shooting, Devine tweeted this, quote, we are in a war with selfish, foolish, and narcissistic rich people. Why is it a shock when things turn violent? Hashtag hunt Republican congressman. After many people objected, Devine did not back down. He followed up by tweeting this. I'm sorry if my hunt Republican congressman hashtag hurt the feelings of any GOP snowflakes, but you have not engaged in civil discourse, end quote. We invited Jim Devine to come on the show, and remarkably, he agreed. He's brave, at least. Jim Devine joins us tonight. So, uh, Jim Devine, under what circumstances is it morally acceptable to use violence for political ends? It's never moral. It's never acceptable to use violence for political ends, except perhaps in the most extreme cases, like referring to George Washington and those guys. The fact of the matter is, we do with, bo with ballots in this country what they do with bullets elsewhere, and it is not uncommon in politics that we use the language of war. We talk about fierce rhetoric. We talk about can. Aids and and so on. You were on a television program, and I don't know what your body count was when you were on Crossfire. I assume that there were no real casualties there, so it oh, shouldn't stop. be a surprise oh, to anybody. I mean, wait, 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 stop! Uh, don't, don't you know? You know what? I I, I want to have a reasonable conversation. I want to demagogue this, but in the hours after five people were shot, including the House Majority Whip, you sent out a tweet that said hunt Republicans. I mean, it was clearly a reference to the assassination attempt against Congressman Scalise. It's hard to imagine how you could justify writing something like that. In the, we, in the immediate aftermath of the shooting at, at the Sandy Hook School, we've heard people say, this is not the time to talk about gun violence. We've heard lots of things follow this. You know, this is a... This is a no, uh, but, but that's not what you were saying. You were encouraging gun violence. Wait, hold on. Absolutely no, so that, not. You were oh, no, encouraging gun not. violence. Absolutely not. You I never you encouraged gun violence and I stated... On my what did you mean by that? that? I don't put down that paper. I'm talking votes. about you, not some other paper. I mean, please. But this is what's been out Wait, there. This that, been I'm, not, I'm not interested in, in what other people... We see stuff okay, like this. And this is not uh, an uncommon that, that's thing. That's great. But we're not... Uh, okay. we saw so your excuse apparently is other people have done it. That's not an it's excuse. Not an I'm excuse. here to ask it's you about something that you wrote and why don't you explain it? Why did you write Hunt Republicans? For too long, Republicans in this country have failed to distinguish the differences between politics and war. And a lot of Democrats have failed to see the similarities. So you guys either have to tone down the rhetoric or we have to step up. And I don't think so there's anything. Hunt I don't think Republican, there's uh, hunt Republicans. There's Sarah nothing Palin, wrong with that. Sarah Palin put the crosshairs on Congress. I'm just saying hunt Republicans instead of Democrats. Well, first of all, Sarah Palin didn't do that. A group affiliated with her did. And there's, it's a difference between a this metaphor is, and actually suggesting affirmatively go hunt Republicans after Republicans have just been shot. She put up a boast about oh, her Republican just, so it's, uh, so bullseyes. What point are you making? That that's okay? What I'm making the point is that after year after year after year of hearing the same kind of violent rhetoric from the right, the left has every reason to come forward and stand up. What I've learned in life is that yet, with when you're, confront with, with violent when you're rhetoric? confronted with bullies, you have to fight fire with fire. You have to stand up to them. But, but a guy just went and tried to assassinate Republican members of Congress. And that was a I mean, terrible... It just happened. It was a terrible, and terrible thing. No, but and one of my, do, tweets, do, do one of my tweets, Tucker, said, it's, it's too bad nobody did something well, I'm before. Sure lo and, it, of course, it so Congressman stupid. Scalise it was, was the it was guy a that received tweet, and of course more was gun lobby money by your than all but 15 the, other the, members of the House. Do you own a gun? No. Do, do you but own you a gun? No, I said no. Do you think that you should be able to pass a background check for a gun after tweeting something like that? I don't see that this would disqualify me from passing a background check. From, but so I would be you happy think to that subject, someone, as a, hold on, I would be, no, no, I would be happy to advocate, subject I'm myself to a background opinion. check if I wanted to buy a no, gun. No, no, but do you think you and should be allowed, think, or anyone, hold on, let me, let me finish my question. Do you think someone who tweets the day after an attempted murder like this hunt Republicans, basically cheering it on, that person, in this case you, ought to be allowed to have a firearm in this country. Well, first of all, your interpretation that I'm cheering it on is not accurate. I specifically said that I don't condone or advocate violence. That was within seconds and in another tweet that said hunt Republicans. This is, this is a metaphorical use of the said, term. Yeah, I do condone violence.
it is, but no, no, if you I just answer my question, do you think someone who tweets it was something a like metaphorical that? Metaphorical term. I, I've recently heard a prominent Republican say, I don't have time for political correctness. And I'll tell you what, I will make the time for political correctness when we have Republicans that aren't your talking point. over us. But, you, but if we could just get back, if you could just answer my question really quick and then we move on to the next one. Do you think that someone who tweets a line such as hunt Republicans or hunt Democrats ought to be allowed to have a gun as a gun control advocate. That's my question to you. It's really a, simple. What's the answer? Absolutely. I don't think that that would in, its, in and of itself define them as a person who either broke Someone the law going or poses on social media and advoc or advocating violence in the wake of a shooting. It yeah, doesn't, that, that's it not a red flag or anything. Okay. It does not so you're not much of a gun control guy, I guess. Shooting. Yeah, apparently, apparently not. So your point is that Republicans, I guess this is your point, are advocating violence, and you're proving this by holding up a poster from five years ago and because they are you say now democrats should like what is your point is that what you're saying i'm saying that democrats have to be more aggressive in the face of political issues in the face of the opposition we have members of people one of the persons who was on that field who spoke about aggressive how terrifying how? it was what does that mean was senator rand paul senator rand paul retweeted something from andrew napolitano that said the reason we have a second amendment is not so people can hunt deer, it's so that they could shoot at a tyrannical government. So what's and your point? That my he point, it? Tucker, is, is very simply, saying? no, absolutely not. But my point is that when you put up obstacles to people voting, when you secretly plot in, in, to, in the Senate to repeal health care that's keeping 50,000 Americans alive, and you're otherwise erecting barriers to the, the dem democratic process where we have elections where the people that get the most votes don't win. That you should be shot? What happens is, no, but that is tyrannical government. That's the it's point. Understandable it's understandable when you're shot? It's the natural culmination well, stop of the... Stop at the talking points. Just get to what you're saying. I want to know what you're saying. Are you saying, you saying it's, 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 it's understandable when someone might shoot you It's the natural culmination that? of the argument that was made by Judge Napolitano and Senator Paul Rand. If Senator Paul Rand would like to sit down Rand and Paul. have... An hour, Rand Paul. If he would like to sit down and have but, an hour-long discussion... But what's your point? No, but hold on. I'd be, I'd be look, willing I'm to really show trying up here. about it. Okay. My you're not making sense. I'm going to give you one last chance. Enough is enough. What is your point? My point is enough is and enough. And so, if it's so it's for time the to take up arms. No, it is not about taking up arms. It is about coming together and fighting back. Fighting back how? Politically, peacefully. Then the what are we doing about in America? Hunting and and cheer. You know what? You're an unbalanced person, and and I and I have to say, it it's distressing that more Democrats haven't disavowed you. Well, um, I hope you know they what? Will. I'm a perfectly Jim, balanced you. person. You don't seem it.